I ordered a $1,000 Barber mystery box and today we're gonna see what exactly is inside. Now, if you don't already know how mystery boxes work, you basically pay a certain amount of money to get a random box delivered to you with a bunch of random items, but you never know if you're actually getting ripped off or you're getting more for your money's worth. So let's jump right in. See, now the neat thing about this specific box is that it's actually made from Babyliss themselves. But to be honest, I have no idea what exactly is in here. The only thing I do know is that they did add something special in here they said nobody has this in the country so you're about to see something that uh nobody's ever seen yet it's kind of hard because the freaking mystery box is so big but let's open this right up and see what our first item is nah no way no way the first product is literally one i've been wanting for a minute wow let me just show you guys in five four three two oh my god and with all this confetti it looks sick check this out it also matches my freaking red shirt so this basically came inside of that box and uh it's the fx3s in an all black version i believe these were only available in europe like a month ago that was it they were like super limited but now we have them in hand fx3s in all black the official in-store launch is February the 1st 2023 all right so reading the specs it's actually titanium carbon nitride so like the full casing is titanium uh, zero gap adjustable fade blade and then high efficiency high torque brushless engine two speeds there's a 6,000 rpm and then a 7,000 rpm which is pretty cool you, you could choose within both of them five hour runtime what in the world and then it says it has an ergodynamic design four stage LED battery indicator which includes an eight comb set so there's guards in here all right, so I'm literally gonna go over the box. It literally looks beautiful in red with like the front carbon fiber all black. I just love that. Let me show you guys what it actually looks like compared to the old FX3s in red. So here you have the old FX3 clippers and then you have the new versions in 2023. I would say I love the black ones even more. Anyways, let's actually open these up and see what's inside. I wanna see what they actually feel like in hand. So not gonna lie, these have some very good weight to them. Wow. You guys are gonna love these. You automatically could feel that power just coming from the little engine. So I'm guessing this is a 6,000 RPM that that little card was talking about. And then 7,000 RPM, you can definitely feel the power, the strength of each and every one of the power options. Oh my God. Obviously to close up the lever, you don't have a lever. You have a switch right here, which closes up your lever, which is pretty cool. And they come zero gap. All right, so this is our trimmer. Same exact red carbon fiber casing and whatnot. And uh, all the specs are obviously here. Um, four hour runtime, high frequency, high torque, 360 exposed blade, just like any other babyless blade nowadays. Titanium carbon nitride standard, the same kind of blade, carbon fiber, or whatever they use for the trimmer is the same thing they use for their clipper. Every tutorial that's literally posted on my channel, you saw me using the FX3s in the red version. This one with the new motor and the fact that it's black and just everything about it is my absolute favorite already and I haven't even opened it. Let's open it. I'm extremely freaking excited for this. I'm not gonna lie. Wow. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say, dude. It's a matte black, which I love because like it's not gonna get nicked or it's not gonna get scratches or fingerprints. So that's freaking beautiful. But check that out right there. I'm gonna turn this on in three, two. Ah, oh, dude. One thing I will say is I love these four designs and lining up. So yeah, they're known to be super sharp. So just keep that in mind if you are leaning on getting some of these, so. All right, so last but not least, we have our shaver. Okay, okay, They this time they have the little pouch for your shaver. FX3s. All right, so again, they are flat black. They didn't get an upgrade for like the motor or whatever, but these feel strong, dude. Now, as for price, since we are calculating everything and seeing if it equalizes to what I paid for this, I would say 130 for this, and then I would say 150, which equals to 300, and then maybe 200. I would say I'd pay $500 for these, so put up 500. I that's how much I would personally pay. I'd probably pay a little bit more since they are unreleased right now as for the making of this video. But anyways, let's move on to the next product inside of our box. All right, so next up we have, this is pretty cool. They kind of matched it with the whole black and reddish. All right, so we have combs, we have, but this is like a nine inch, seven and a half and seven one with one fourth. I, I have a fade comb like this, but I don't have these in specific. So this is the first time I ever have some of these in hand and they're really hard plastic. These are pretty good. The next thing we have, Oh my, wait a minute, wait a minute. What in the world? Babyless tourmaline? Titanium? I have, 
never heard of this. I'm not gonna lie. I've never heard of this ever. This looks pretty cool. The fact that it's red and it kind of matches the whole theme with like the FX3 and all that. I'm loving that. I guess they like built this entire box to kind of go with the FX3s. I have no idea, but babyless, you have outdone yourself. So obviously all these blow dryers have their own little heads and whatnot. This one is so tiny, so small. It's just cute, bro, you know? This is so much smaller than I thought it'd be. Okay, so it's wrapped in plastic. This is so small. I'm taking this everywhere from now on. I think this is part of my freaking bag essentials. I'm not gonna lie. You guys know I always roll with a Dyson, but I'm literally taking this one around because the Dyson's so big and it's like, it's not meant to carry around. This is definitely a travel size blow dryer. It's so small. No, bro, this thing, just toss it. Toss it in the bag and you're good. Okay, so it has a high and a low option as well as two different heat settings, I believe. All right, so we have our little blow dryer plugged in. Let's see what the low level is like and then high. So let's go. Okay, all right, that's the low level too. Dude, that's actually not bad for like a little blow dryer and it's on the low setting. Now let's see the high, the high version. Bro, this thing is legit. I actually really like this, I'm not gonna lie. I'd probably pay about like 60 bucks for this. Sure. Yes, oh, <laughs> wrong freaking side. All right, so you guys know Babyliss is known for the bags and obviously they had to put one in there. I've actually made a whole video on this bag and all of its pockets. So if you wanna see that video, make sure you click the little card around here and yeah, you could see everything that I store in this bag exactly in what place. These bags are totally worth it. I believe this is $130, so put that up there. We're at $690, which is a very, very good thing because I see a lot of items in here. Whoa, baby. Yes, sir. We have the FX3 case. It's definitely a travel case. You have your little pouch for your cables or whatever. It has this soft material inside and oh, just like your backpack, it's Velcro. Oh, did I just, I'm not gonna f with it. <laughs> All right, so it basically has a clipper, trimmer, and then a shaver slot. So if you were to put these in here, then they go perfectly on there. Anyways, next one. Okay, a little baggy. What the heck? Oh, okay, okay. I didn't even know they actually made these. What the? It's their, it's their little kit or whatever. This is pretty cool because it comes like, if you're just starting off, they literally supply this right here. And then you just gotta buy your clippers and you'd be good to go. So kit includes cape, two hair clips, fade brush, and a nine inch comb, which is a fade comb. Literally the third in our kit today. And then we have these very shiny hair clips. We get two of them, so that's freaking cool. If you're just starting off, this little kit would literally be everything you need. Fade brush, gotta have it. Can't go around that. You gotta dust off your hair while you're fading. This is their cape and is this, that's super nice. Personally, me, I'm gonna be honest, I don't like the buttons, but this will save you a bunch of money, the entire kit that we just unboxed. So, I believe we're around $750 to $800. I kinda made the calculations right now and I don't really know, but all I know is, oh yeah, we, we're definitely getting our money worth, yeah, for sure, for sure. There's so many products in there still. Oh, it kind of felt like another barber kit thingy, but okay, the next one is, oh, it's an apron. I'm like, what the heck is this, bro? I've had one of these before and that, it was way long ago. Like I, I feel like I had just started when I freaking had one of these. Personally, again, I might get called out, but I never saw the point of wearing an apron. Hey, it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. It looks nice. It looks nice. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take it off. I don't, don't quote me. I don't know the prices. 30 bucks? Definitely past 800 bucks now. Okay, so now what we have are these knuckle brushes. Um, back then I would always see people use knuckle brushes and I'm like, I'm gonna try them out. I love that these are in there, thank you so much, but I personally, like I don't really like them, you know? But uh, knuckle brushes, pretty cool. These are soft bristles, love them. They have the little baby list. And oh, maybe they have like soft and medium versions, but this one says firm, so that's pretty cool. All right, so aside from that, we have this little duster knuckle thingy, but this one, honestly, I might use them. This is pretty cool. Is this new? I don't know. I've never seen this personally, but anyways, on to the next product. I would say those are five bucks, 10 bucks a piece. We have the Babyliss. It's also matte, so it kind of goes with the FX3s. It has these like this tinted side right here, so you could see the water levels, which is pretty cool. Next one, we have, all right, so we obviously get our little pouch. I've already had one of these, so I kind of know what to expect. The big pouch really makes it so convenient because this thing is 
huge. It is actually really shiny. So you don't want to scratch this up, which is the benefit of having this right here. If you don't already know how these work, you just wrap it around your arm like so. Man, I, I am having a hard time putting this on real quick. Okay, so you basically just wrap those two little straps on you and they're really, really just stuck on there. But you just turn it on. You have your little battery setting right here. You can charge it right here. And oh my, I might just start giving myself some massages. I'm not gonna lie. God, this actually feels good <laughs> by yourself. So we definitely crossed the mark for what we paid for today because I think this is around 200 or 150. So yeah, that puts us a little bit over a thousand dollars. So there's two more products. There's two more products. Now we have these little grippy things. Basically, if you wanted to put this, I don't know, this up right here, you just scoot it up and that's how it works. It kind of leaves it up top for you. That way you, you properly just work on that fade. But I'm not gonna lie, I personally, like clips better. I personally have never owned one of these myself. Basically, it kind of organizes your entire set of clippers and whatnot. Uh, this is pretty cool. You can kind of tell they, they added that metal piece right here in the back. Anyways, this is the front. It has their logo right here. But I love that they freaking added like the black camel with like the grayish because it goes with the FX3s. All right, so let's just say you have your station. It's just plain white. You have your, your new FX3s. You don't want to scratch them up or anything like that. All you got to do is put the blade up front and they stick like so. Literally, you could raise this up, it's that strong. All right, guys, I definitely would say this mystery box is well worth it. Again, thank you, Babyless, for sending this through because I had no freaking clue what they had in mind and what they were sending, so this mystery box was definitely a success. Guys, thank you so much for the opportunity to be in front of you guys showing you all this equipment. It's definitely a blessing to have all love and support from you guys, so thank you so much. It literally means the entire world to me. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video like and I'm pretty sure you're subscribed already but if not go hit that little red button that's been it for me I'm Marty Blends and I'm out peace I am not kidding I almost forgot to input my code use Marty 10 to save a bunch of money on any official babyless site or the custom FX app anyways ladies